Medical obstacles did not stop a doctor from showing up to work every shift for 10 years. For the first time, a thief became between him and his job. Came TV Action 3 News reporter Josh Egbert is live at the Nebraska Medical Center with the story. Josh. Well, Jen, for the past 10 years, Dr. Scott Hoffman would arrive to work here at UNMC. He would get out of his car and ride onto his Segway. But when he arrived to work to do his rounds yesterday morning, that Segway was nowhere to be found. Unfortunately, because of the MS, I can walk, but it just takes me a long time to get anywhere. Dr. Scott Hoffman is chief of anesthesiology at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. I can walk. I use my cane. But especially at the med center, the distances are immense. You know, it's a big place. And so to get from point A to point B, I use the Segway. I put my foot on there and then I get this smiley face. Diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1995, his wife bought him a Segway for Christmas about 10 years ago. But when Dr. Hoffman arrived to work Wednesday morning, that Segway was gone. The thing that bothered me the most is that Somebody else had to cover my cases because I wasn't able to get to do what I wanted to do that day. The Segway was parked here, padlocked to a steel frame bolted to the wall. He called security to let them know it was gone. I wasn't sure until about uh, around noon, I, uh, one of the security people called me and said that they had videotape evidence of it being stolen. Video captured someone in a white truck stealing the Segway. These pictures are from that video. It's not a public access area and it is uh, monitored. I mean, we patrol it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hoffman says now he has to load up his Segway he uses at the VA hospital and take it to UNMC to get around. It works good for me. I like it. It's one of the older models and that's why I want it back. Dr. Hoffman says he's not looking for sympathy. Sympathy. He plain and simply wants his Segway back. As for the future, he says he'll have to find somewhere new to store his Segway here at the hospital. We're live tonight outside the Nebraska Medical Center. Josh Egbert, KMTV Action 3 News. And hopefully